Okay, folks, there's a couple things that uh, I've been meaning to show you. And when I was looking at this next camera as being my main camera, the next seven, there was a couple of things that I wished it had that it didn't. One is real good bracketing, which I haven't had since I had my D700. My D7000 had bad bracketing. It was stupid. And this is even worse for bracketing, but uh, I've overcome that just by using the manual controls, which is what I've had to do all along. Uh, one of the other things that I was wishing this would have is an interval intervalometer or time lapse, interval timer shooting. Well, I have found an option. So let me just show that to you right now. First thing you have to do is flip your camera into remote drive mode. And you have to get yourself one of these little guys. This is the Tempest Next. This guy makes a Tempest for pretty much every camera ever. Anything with a remote control, he makes a time-lapse controller for it. It's uh, tempus.bimac.org, T-E-M-P-U-S dot B-Y-M-A-C dot O-R-G. This is a time-lapse control. He also makes a control that looks really awesome for astrophotographers who are using bulb mode. This one allows you to set your time from uh, pretty much anywhere from one second to 30 minutes. And it's got three modes, three different colors, one to 10 seconds, 10 to 60 seconds, one to 30 minutes. He also has a quick mode which lets you manually set the time that you want to do. But let's just see how this works. So I'm going to flip it around here uh, because my infrared port is on the front of the camera. So we flip it on. The light turns on and is a solid blue. You see it's a pretty dang bright light reflecting in there. And you hit the mode button either one, two, or three times depending on how long you want to go. I'm going to twist the dial to five seconds. I'm going to push the mode button once. And you just, uh, it'll blink, should blink repeatedly for five seconds to, so you can get everything set up, get out of the way. And you can see camera going every five seconds. And you can see it's a pretty dang strong remote beam. It's not very fussy on where you put it. I don't know if it'll work there. Oh, it didn't work there. Anywhere kind of relatively close, it'll work. What I'm actually thinking to do is just get a little rubber band or something and set it right and strap it to my camera right here when I want to shoot with it. So you can see that's that. Pretty simple. And that's all, you, all I've really ever wanted in a time-lapse controller is some easy way to make it repeat. The problem I had with my D7000, I almost never used the internal intervalometer except for taking group pictures because uh, 999 shots for most of the time-lapse videos I was doing was just not enough frames. I needed to go for farther than that. One thing you're going to have an issue with, with the next camera, I haven't actually gotten through this yet to make a time-lapse, but that's the battery power. It's a little camera, it's a little battery, and it's using a lot of power. Uh, I'm going to uh, try this by turning the screen off or turning the screen as dark as I can, but um, we'll have to see how many frames we get out of a battery charge in, in the real world. You can get the AC power adapter, which I think I will do for making time-lapse movies. It's one extra thing you have to deal with, but uh, to that or a battery grip would probably get you enough control. The one thing is I don't know of any battery grips made for this yet. I've seen a few on the market that should be coming shortly. But Anyway, I think if I lock the focus down and turn the screen brightness down, we should get probably a couple hundred more shots out of that. And then to turn it off, you just turn it off. So if we set our, our focus and our exposure lock, oh, I'm in manual, so I guess it's locked by default.
And then, um, I think it's in the playback. It's either in playback or settings. It's in settings. Still getting a little bit used to this camera. I turned auto review off, so that'll help. And then we just pop down to power save after one minute. Oh, LCD brightness right here. So we're going to set this to manual, and, and you would just turn it all the way down. And that'll help save some power. The other thing I did with my, uh, you know, is my menus are, it's in the black mode, which also saves a little power. But that's the Tempest Next. Check it out. Uh, it's super awesome.